Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Flutter Explained. Today, we want to talk about to widgets and why they are such a crucial topic for Flutter in, uh, development. And so we want to talk about stateless widgets. We want to talk about stateful widgets and why both of them are so important and how we can use them in every situation. So let's get started. All right, so Flutter is based on a widget system. And what does it mean is that everything or nearly everything in Flutter consists of different widgets for different purposes. So how I understand the widget is that a widget is more or less a building block. And a building block is very specific to a specific task. And if you combine multiple blocks together, you get something bigger than it was before. So that means you can have a container and the container itself, which is one of the basic widgets in Flutter, consists again out of different widgets. And also the same thing we do all the time. So we all the time, we compose different widgets together to write different components. And we want to show these components. So we have here a um, basic uh, template from our Flutter team. So I created just a new Flutter project and leave it like it is. And as you can see, our void main already starts up a my app. And this is usually the entry point of our uh, of all our applications. And this entry point is already a stateless widget. So here it is already. Flutter is really consistent about that. So everything in Flutter is a widget somehow. So, and if we go inside, every widget, anyway, if it is stateless or stateful, has somewhere a build method. And this build method is very important for the widget because it rebuilds the view later on. We hear more about that. So in the basic project, we can see there is a material app and a theme data and a my homepage. All of these are classes. And if we jump inside of it, for example, the my homepage, which is immediately underneath of it, we see it is a state full widget. And a stateful widget is a bit more uh, um, a bit more than just a widget uh, uh, because it has a state. If you don't know anything about state management, I really recommend you to take a, uh, now a break and take a look into state management and read a bit about it. But every application has a state and we want to keep track of that. And therefore we have a stateful widget which has the possibility to keep state and also to update the state. And the difference is that a stateless widget would be completely new created. So it will be completely destroyed and new created. Besides of a stateful widget, it will be not completely destroyed. It will only re uh, rebuild the state of the widget. So now that we know what a stateless and stateful widget are, we can start by creating our own widget. And for that, we first of all remove everything that we have in our main.dart besides of the my app class. So we run our app in the main function and there we run the app and then we remove everything till up here. And to make the entry very easy for us all, we should create for now a stateless widget. And because I work here with Android Studio Code, <coughs> Android Studio, it is very easy. We can just create a folder for now. We call it a screen for now because it is a whole screen. And inside of screen, we want to create another Dart file. And we call it, for example, home screen. Now we have two possibilities. The first one is that we can enter as a quick code, um, S-T-L-E-S-S. -S. And if I press now return, can see it creates us already the template for it. And this template is very handy because now I can just enter the name of the, uh, the widget name or the class name. And as you can see, it already extend the uh, stateless widget. And now everything is get read because we have to import the one of these three libraries. And I decided now for the material one because it will contain everything that is from the material package. And what we else have to do is we have to go back to the my app 
and replace this My Home page with Home Screen. And if you use Android Studio Code, you will see that it immediately imports the home screen Dart. <clears throat> Good. So, and with that, we already created our very own uh, stateless widget. And we can see that if I run now the application. Okay. So you can see that our app is currently just black. And you can see that we just have a container in our stateless widget. So to make it a bit more colorful, we have to change the color of the container and say, for example, colors white. And as you see, immediately as I change through hot reload, we have immediately a white page and we can directly work on that. So, and usually we don't use a container for the first widget. We have usually something called a scaffold. And a scaffold has a body parameter and this body parameter is the child inside. So now if you take a look into here, nothing has changed. But the benefit is now that we don't have to say color white anymore because the scaffold itself has already the standard color white. And also if I add now an app bar, which is also just a widget called app bar, we can give it a title, for example, which has a widget inside called text. <clears throat> and for example, hello YouTube. And if you take a look now, the scaffold it has the uh, purpose to create a head bar up here, to create an app bar, and to have a body. And a container will always, if it doesn't have a child, will always contain the whole body. So whatever it gets as space, it will take. And the app bar is, as you can see up here, just that part. So to finish up it, we want to have a hello world example, of course, right? It's our very first app. So our container should have a child property and inside we want to have a text and we say hello world. And if I save now, you can see hello world is inside of our application. Great. The only thing that I want to do to make it more beautiful is to center the whole thing. So you can see, Everything is fruity hot reload immediately in our app. So we are very fast in our programming style and it's like painting on a canvas. We don't really have to wait for something. Hot reload is a joy to work with. All right, that's all about it. We created our very first uh, widget and we have already implemented and you have your very own scaffold inside with Hello World. And in the next future lessons, I want to talk about uh, stateful widgets and how you can use them and also about other topics that you may be interested in. So thank you very much for watching me today. On the right side, you find as always the subscribe button and up above me, you find the two videos that you are interested in. And as always, please reach out to me on Twitter or in the comments if you have any questions. And I'm so glad if you would like leave a like button. Till the next time, see ya.